So I think next we'll jump into our typical treatment for patients with mantle cell lymphoma. So the one key thing to know is that there is no sort of treatment that all patients with mantle cell lymphoma will receive. Uh, there's a quite a bit of variation in the treatment approaches utilized in even certain parts of the United States and what is given in other parts of the world. So there is no such thing as a standard of care in mantle cell lymphoma, which is a little bit different from what we see with other cancers. So as we mentioned before, uh, for patients who are considered to be either um, unfit, meaning they have other health conditions that sort of decrease their sort of overall fitness and uh, sort of age health, um, Less intensive treatment is typically what we would give, and we'll discuss those chemotherapeutic options in the next few slides. For those younger, more fit patients, and again, we typically use a more aggressive treatment course, and we will typically salvage, sorry, we would typically follow that with a consolidation, what we call an autologous stem cell transplantation. So a key thing to know about this transplant, it is not a transplant that most people think about. This is more like an auto rescue, meaning that this still involves very high-dose chemotherapy, and then we will use your own body's blood cells that we would collect to sort of rescue your body from the chemotherapy versus using that to actually treat your cancer. The real treatment part of that is really just more chemotherapy. So with this sort of treatment, we do know that your progression-free survival, meaning your time before the cancer comes back, is improved because remember this cancer is incurable, uh, but it has not necessarily demonstrated that patients live longer with this treatment. So again, we can delay the cancer coming back, but it does not make you live longer. And we do have some risk assessment tools that we can utilize uh, to help sort of maybe give you some sort of prognostic sort of idea of how long we think you'll live with this cancer. Uh, but none of these are sort of ironclad uh, and nothing that we would necessarily typically sort of utilize in the clinic. And these are more so used for research purposes. So uh, there's a slide that indicates patience is a virtue. So is treatment needed in patients with mantle cell lymphoma, irrespective of whether they have symptoms or not? So this is a very old study from Cornell in New York, which looked at basically observing patients who were without symptoms versus treating them right away. And as you can see from the blue curve, it appears that patients who were observed did better than those who were treated right away. Um, the real sort of moral of this slide and this takeaway from this is that we do not need to treat asymptomatic patients right away. They tend to do well whether we treat them right away or we don't. Uh, and so from this, you want to take away is that if you do have mantle cell lymphoma, you do not have symptoms, there is no reason to treat you because you will not suffer any detrimental effects. Um, and while the left-hand box does suggest that patients who observe do better, that is really just because, again, for the most part, uh, their cancers are a little bit different uh, than what we're seeing is what we call a, a lead time bias. And if you sort of look at outcomes on the right-hand side from time for when treatment is started, you will see that the survival and outcomes of these patients are about the same. So um, the bigger takeaway is not that observing patients is better, it's that, that you don't lose anything from observing patients. So you do not need to rush into any sort of treatment if you do not have symptoms. Because again, this is an incurable cancer. So if, if it's incurable, treating you early does not improve your outcomes and does not do anything but expose you to side effects that you don't necessarily need before we really need to treat the cancer.